Okay, quick little video here to show how to change a root assignment in uh, HomeSeer for a node that's uh, maybe having some trouble communicating back to the controller. Uh, what I'm going to use here is one of these nodes. This is, happens to be the node info page. I got here by going to the plugins menu, selecting Z-Wave, and then selecting node information. So this page appears. Node number three here is a, a plugin uh, appliance module, and right now the last working route is set to uh, direct communication. So this is communicating from node number three up to node number one. No, node number one happens to be the ZNet, which is my uh, Z-Wave controller. So it's communicating directly. If I want to alter that route for whatever reason, I can do that by using the set route field. Now what you've got to do is you've got to choose uh, a route that has the right combination of other devices in it. For example, uh, my controller can communicate with all of these devices up top here. So I should try to choose uh, another con another node in node 3 list, in the neighbor list here, that corresponds to what I see here. And there's actually quite a few options. I could choose uh, node number 30. I could choose node number 51. There's a bunch of different options. So what I'm going to do, just to make it easy, I'm going to go to the very end of the line here, and I'm going to choose uh, node num number 51. I'll type that in. Click the uh, Submit button. So it's going to set that route in the controller at this point and come back just and, and display. All right, so last root working route is set to um, num number 51. Uh, I believe the auto designation there indicates it hasn't really attempted uh, a communication there, but it's set the route, the route, the route. Um, so let's uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to go into the node and force it to communicate with this node. So I'll just click on the hyperlink there, go to the Z-Wave page. As you can see I've already done this here. So I'll click on Test Connectivity, it makes an attempt to go out there and communicate with the node. If I go back to the node info page at this point and it worked, then it's going to reflect that the root, the working route is now um, through node 51, and, and that is true. So the last working route is, is now set to through uh, node 51, and um, it, it communicated at 40K was the speed. If I want to revert back to direct communication, which I do, I'm just going to click into the set route field, and without typing anything at all in, I'm going to click Submit. That'll set it as a direct communication if possible. Again, um, we don't know yet what the speed is, so I will uh, whoop, once again do another connectivity test just to verify that that uh, change took. Okay, so we're back to direct communication at 40K, and that's how we generally tell people to do it. If you have a more complicated route that you have to set up, you can do that. Um, you, you know, if it's going a greater distance, for example, you can go through a couple of different nodes if you need to. Uh, in this case, I could say, you know, go to uh, node 30, then go to node 51, I suppose, kind of a strange route, but I could go ahead and give that a go, see if it'll store that information. So 30 and 51 now is set as the route. Uh, once again, we'll try and communicate. If for some reason it doesn't communicate using that route that I've just selected, um, it'll revert back to the route that was successful. Well, no, it took. So <clears throat> now that uh, node is set to route through uh, nodes 30 and 51. So it goes from the controller to node 30 and from node 30 to node 51. There you go.